Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Surendra and I am going to start a new lecture series on mechanical unit operations, especially for chemical engineering people. Let us discuss in the introduction part that what exactly is the word called unit operations and processes and what is its history. Let us concentrate on the board that what I am trying to teach you. You can see here uh, the name, the chemical engineering has started in late 1800s. What I mean to say is even though they are using the principles of science and technology in the name of chemical engineering, there is no as such the coined the term chemical engineering, but it is still existed even in the late 1800s. And later on, uh, the people come up with the coining the word called chemical engineering. For example, as far as the chemical engineering is concerned, George Davis in 1887, he is actually is an English consultant to the industries. He started the series of lectures on chemical engineering in Manchester Technical School, UK. There exactly the, I mean, uh, it came into the academics part. In the year 1887, later on, in 1888, Louis M. Norton, he introduced the first chemical engineering curriculum in MIT USA, Massachusetts Institute of Technology USA. There exactly it came into the academics. And later on, if you talk about the India, the first course on chemical engineering is introduced by Professor H. L. Roy at Bengal Institute of Technology, Kolkata. Now presently it is called Jadavpur University. And if you talk about the professional chapters for the chemical engineers, one such a prestigious chapter which we follow is IICHE, Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers. And you can see uh, in the name of IICHE, many events happen. Example, ChemCon is such a famous event happens every year where all the professors from the reputed institutions and students from different institutions in India gather together and discuss what are the recent happenings and they, can, uh, they will show their research work and academic work, what they have achievement. So, the students normally go there and learn many things and meet many people. So, they can build up the contacts. Even the many industries people come in and share the knowledge and wisdom. So, that is why the found, if, if someone asks you the founder president, I mean of ISEHE, you should name the Professor H. L. Roy at and normally it is in 1921, it is introduced, the first chemical engineering course introduced by H. L. Roy in the year 1921. This is the institute, Bengal Institute of Technology, presently it is called the Jadavpur Institute. And IACH chapter introduced in 1947, the founder president is of course the Professor H. L. Roy. And let us go into the, deeper into the mechanical unit operations subject. Where this unit operations comes in play? If we go, uh, if you divide the chemical engineering into two uh, subjects, uh, one I can divide one set of is unit operations and second set is unit processes. Unit operations where the processes involving only physical change. Unit, I mean unit operations where the processes is involving only physical change. Unit processes is on the other hand where only the chemical changes happens. Uh, example, if you, if you talk about the unit operations and uh, the physical changes, I mean physical properties, any thing, any process that undergo the physical change that comes under the unit operations. Example, reduction in the size of the bigger material to smaller, measuring densities, viscosities, anything we can sense we, with your eye, with your hand, I mean you can hear, I mean color, any anything physical things you see 
that happening in a processes in an industry, uh, everything comes under the unit operations. Whereas unit processes, if you talk about the reaction, one molecule is converting to the some other molecule where the reaction happens, those sort of things which, accom which accompanied by the chemical reactions or molecular changes that is happening in place, then those all the processes are comes under the unit processes. Let us go back to the unit operation because we are dealing with the subject the unit operations. Let us go a bit deeper into the basic aspects. What you going to learn from this subject? I told you that uh, unit operate. I mean, chemical engineering is divided into unit operations and unit process. And who is the first uh, person to coin the term that unit operations is Dr. Arthur D. Little in 1915. He came up with this kind of classification where unit operations, he I mean, came up with the book and in that the, he coined the different name like unit operations. And the, in this particular book, the other aspects are there, uh, mechanical operations, fluid flow, heat transfer, mass transfer. And we are into this. And after this introduction of Dr. Arthur D. Little in 1915, we get to know what is the unit operation as such. Let us go with unit processes and I can say the people who defined the term the unit processes is P. H. Grogan in 1923. He coined the term unit processes where I told you that the chemical changes happens. For example, the chemical changes happens the kind of reactions, oxidation reactions, C plus O2 gives rise to CO2 and hydration reactions, hydrogenation reactions, nitration, etc. All the reaction aspects, what we observe, it comes under the unit processes. When you come to the unit operations, you can see what we deal with unit operations, uh, particulate solids, that means uh, in this unit operation subject, what we are going to learn here is handling the solids, handling the liquids. Okay. What is particulate solids? That means uh, in industries and then you get to have uh, material, you get to have a desired materials of definite size in terms of catalysis, in terms of many other things, you need to have the defined size. So normally, uh, uh, you need to reduce the size of the particles out of different, or using different mechanics of forces and measuring its size and gradings, all this comes under the particulate solids. And the other is dynamics. That means, example, filtration operations. Uh, you wanted to filter out the particle example if you uh, remember the making of a tea but once you keep everything the milk and the tea i mean tea dust everything is boiling out once the tea has been formed separating the tea dust from the tea that comes under the filtration operations there are many sub aspects for that constant pressure filtrations variable pressure filtrations that all comes under the particle dynamics how the particle will move inside a vessel that example, uh, if I have the bucket of water, if I throw some stone into the water, how the stone flows and what are the different forces acts on the stone, then how much time the stone takes uh, uh, to reach to the level of top to the bottom of the bucket. Example, all this comes under the dynamics aspects. And third one important is mixing. In industries, many mixing operations takes place, two solids. Example, if you eat I mean the mixture which we available in the market and you can see uh, you get a lot of peanuts and everything mixed together right mixture it's called a mixture and this is called a solid mixture people uh, take out the different uh, two different components and they mix them in a mixer how how good you can mix what are the equipments are used for this kind of solid solid mixture and similarly in industries we have to mix two different uh, liquid materials okay and what are the different uh, i mean uh, design associated with what kind of uh, uh, equipments used to design two different liquids or two different solids and one is miscible another one is immiscible example the water cannot be mixed with oil very easily so these are called miscible i mean immiscible mixtures and example water and ethanol this can readily mix this is called miscible mixtures so what are the different equipments associated with the miscible or miscible mixtures and what are the equations, governing equations associated with it and how you are going to design all these uh, as far as physical forces are concerned, everything comes under this kind of mechanical unit operations. We are going to slowly discuss 
you know the main technical aspects sometimes i go into the lab and i show you that how to reading to be taken how kilo what is the kilowatt hour consumptions and how to operate the ball mills or jaw crushers i mean how to measure the efficiency of a screening operation uh, in which we are going to separate the solids of different sizes everything we are going to discuss in this uh, particular lecture sessions and i hope uh, uh, you will be comfortable and uh, if you have any doubts i um, mean you can put on the comment session once i uploaded the video and uh, presently i am presently i am a, i mean uh, as a professor in the department of chemical pandit dindyal energy university i am very thankful to the university the providing resources and support i have to deliver the lectures and uh, i thank you very much let us meet in the next lab session i mean next lecture session on more topics thank you very much